Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today I will be talking, um, doing a reaction video to Caitlin Bennett's Socialist Go Goes Shopping. Um, I am going to be looking at this from the perspective of being a foster care kid once I was 13. Um, once I came into the system at the age of 13, it is very unlikely for a teenager to be adopted or put into a nice home. Normally they're just thrown into shelters and you don't need to go to South America in order to see socialism and know that it doesn't work. You, it's very detrimental right here in America. Just have to go to the um, foster care system, look at the statistics, and you'll see what I'm talking about. So without further ado, let's get into it and you know see why this socialist thinks it's so great. You know, all while he's living in a capitalistic society. Let's go ahead. Go. Call yourself a socialist? I'm a socialist, yeah. I think. Oh, where'd you go shopping at? Yeah, in a socialist society, you don't get you don't get that. I'm telling you right now, when it came to my trust fund, yeah, I couldn't just ask for certain some money to go and do shopping as I please, even though it was my money. I couldn't continue my piano lessons because the government had my funds. So yeah, you don't get to buy and purchase freely for the things that you want in a socialist society, but without further ado, let's keep going. Go back. Um, I'll be a little out here say I, I'm, I'm very against um, all of the stuff that comes into play with capitalism in general. I feel it is extremely exploitative. And in general, even in a restaurant or anything, I don't Did you feel... call yourself a socialist? I'm a socialist, yeah. I think... Oh, where'd you go shopping at? Okay, there, there's, this, there's this meme that goes off around all over the place where there's an image of a person uh, who's consistently saying, uh... Oh, I, I think something should be better, and the other person's like, um, uh, and yet you participate in this, and... Are you the person in the meme? I, I'm the person in the in, who's been, um, <laughs> so... You can't even fucking answer it, yo. And, if you, and the thing about these people who are socialists, if it wasn't for capitalism, you know, the taxes that let you live your socialist life, you wouldn't be living a socialist life if someone didn't go to work and feed the government the taxes that support your way of life. So if you really want to go there, socialism is exploitive too. They, they, they say, I, I feel society should be improved somewhat and yet you participate in society. I need to go shopping to get food. If I didn't go shopping, I'd die. So with that being said, I'm sorry, y'all, I get really heated with these discussions. With that being said, don't you believe in, why, why don't you believe in if you don't work, you don't eat? For individuals like him, I wonder, do he believe in if you do not work, you do not eat? Because there's a lot of individuals who are collecting a lot of our tax dollars and they don't fucking work and they are able body. So who, the, who is the exploiter then? Mr. Uh, I'm socialist, righteous. For it wasn't that. It, well, that's not true because you could farm your own food. You could make your own food. You could raise your own cattle. But capitalism allows you to buy all of those things for a very cheap price, um, in bulk, very cheap, convenient. All around us, we see capitalism working. These these trucks that are constructing the road right now, these pots that are holding the flowers, this hotel right now, these are all because of capitalism. How can you be so mad at it? I'm not mad at capitalism, and I feel like it's had a, 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 a great effect on society at large. We wouldn't be where we are today if it wasn't for capitalism. But it's not going to last forever. Nothing, nothing lasts forever, and I feel like capitalism has had its, its day, and now we need to move on to something better. Which is socialism. Yeah. What's one country where socialism has worked longer than capitalism? Obviously there is none. I'm saying we need to look forward <laughs> to something new. So he's will even though there hasn't been a country, he's willing he's willing to let a country that has prospered from capitalism to be burned down in order to usher in a new system that has yet to be proven to be as sustainable or at least somewhat sustainable 
com um, uh, compared to capitalism. <sighs> He's willing to burn everything down. The, these are what socialists do. They want to burn everything down to usher in what they believe is true socialism, even though it has never, ever, ever worked. I'm pretty sure uh, Einstein has a saying for that. The process of repeating the same thing over and over and over, expecting a different outcome is the definition of insanity. These people are fucking insane. Better. Socialism? Socialism. But you have no examples where that works better than capitalism. So, imagine a society, th this is nothing to do with socialism or capitalism, where no one ever dies, no one ever... Uh, well, we know that that has nothing to do with socialism because lots of people die yes. under socialism. You agree, right? There have been com uh, countries that have uh, touted socialist beliefs where bad things have happened. But again, where I'm saying it's because something... I can look to a society where everything's perfect, but that no society where everyone has tried to make everything perfect has survived yet, but that doesn't mean it won't, it won't survive in the future. So how can, I'm still trying to understand your argument that we need something better than capitalism. How do we get there? We just, so one of the biggest complaints I have about, um, one second, about capitalism in general is that um, in order for, uh, c capitalism is all about uh, uh, putting a profit. So in order to produce profit, there's two things you can do. You can improve the um, quality of your products to get more people to buy it. You can lower the, uh, the price of the products, which will make people attracted. But then if you're lowering the pro price, you don't make as much money. If you raise the prices, less people can afford it. Uh, and the only other way to in increase profits is to lower the amount that you're paying to produce that product. So <laughs> if you want to get more, um, if you want to get, uh, eventually, if you get I will say this. He's really fat for someone who um, hates capitalism, you know. Name, name one socialist country where the people are fat like him. <laughs> They're not. Because why? Oh, food scarcity has something to do about it because the government controls. The government controls production. Hmm. When corporations control production, what gets made and what doesn't, which is dictated by the market, well, obviously, you see, he's in no short supply of food. This is the logic that these individuals keep failing to understand. Point where your product can't ever be produced any better, you have to start lowering the amount you pay to produce it. And that might include cutting the wages of your workers. But if you cut the wage of your workers, you, um, you eventually have to, uh, your workers won't have as much money to buy stuff. And if they can't buy stuff, they can't buy your product. And that's just event. So, like with automation, automation should be a good thing. That means we don't have to pay. Um, uh, people don't have to work as hard. You can produce things more efficiently with less resources. But yet, with capitalism, we don't want automation. Wait, wait let's go back. What he said, because that doesn't make any sense. With less resources, <laughs> no. The resource is humans, right? Humans are the resource. Which, and, there, and, and what I mean by resource, it's their labor. Automation will now have to carry 330 million people's labor. How is that using less resources? And then on top of that, automation doesn't always account for human error. It doesn't. Because guess what? Humans do make mistakes. To sit here and act like machines don't make mistakes. Are you fucking kidding me? The machines only are as good as the programmers who program them. Yeah, automation, because it means less people are buying. Do you know goods. why people are pushing automation? It's because the government is stepping into these private businesses that are engaging capitalism. Capitalism is not about profit. Capitalism is about consensual free trade because profit is, um, and it's kind of, you know, depending on the person. So if I traded this watch <clears throat> for your groceries right now, it, 
that would be a profit to me because I would want to buy, I would want to trade for that. It has nothing to do with money, it has nothing to do with profit. It's about consensual trade that would benefit us both. And that happens in everyday life. Every day when we make a decision, it's capitalism. Right. It's based on consensual trade. What benefits you, what benefits me. So when we go off of that, when the government steps in and they start regulating a private business that engages in consensual free trade, they have to do something to stay afloat, to stay alive. So if the government comes in and says, we have to pay our workers $15 an hour, Walmart's going to start having these automatic and electronic controlled yep. janitors. What is a bad thing? It, it's it's a, inherently a good thing if you can produce something cheaper with less work. The fact that companies have... the fa Okay, so now you're, you're making... Oh my God, not everyone is going to be a programmer. There are some people who cannot program. There are some people who will never be developers. You're taking, when you go into automation, you're taking away jobs from people. You moron, how do you not understand this? You were just complaining about how if they wage, if they raise minimum wages up to $15 an hour, then that means, oh, well, now we have to dip into our workers' pay and we can't pay them as much. What do you think will happen when you, and, now, and then they can't buy things. What do you think will happen if they say, fuck that, we're gonna take your job completely away. Now they won't even have a job to buy anything, but yet you will sit here and, in the same sentence without even realizing that automation leads to the same conclusion of what you just are what you say you're fighting against what you say capitalism is so bad about uh what why you say capitalism is so bad okay like you don't even understand what the hell just came out of your mouth and now you're, you're you you don't see how automation will do the same thing as raising fifteen minimum fifteen dollars, uh, raising minimum wage to fifteen dollars, uh, which you believe will cut into the uh, workers' um, pay. If they raise the um, minimum wage to fifteen dollars, what they'll end up doing actually is raising the price of the product that they're selling. Okay, uh, greedy uh, communists, uh, not communists, but a crony capitalist would raise the price of the goods and lower their wages uh, their worker rate wages and that's probably what you're talk talking about um, when it comes to why you don't like capitalism what you need to say is that you don't like crony capitalism guy be forced to do automation is the problem that's not what I said when we force them to pay their employees $15 an hour when that's not in their budget they can't afford that that's going to cut down on the quality that you just said of their products because the government's coming in putting all these regulations you have to pay health care for your employees you have to pay them a living wage so when we do that it's forcing them to just get rid of employees and putting in all of these automated things that you just said mcdonald's now they have kiosks that replace their workers that would work at the cash register and earn wages that kiosk is making them a lot of money and saving them a lot of money so maybe what we do is say socialism isn't that great because that's a socialist aspect is regulating private companies, actually taking private companies and forcing them to work under what the government says. And so now we see people, what's the difference? When you, force, when you force a company to do something, it's authoritarian. It what's the difference? Socialist if the people, uh, the owners owned, the, uh, not the owners, the employees in Walmart owned it. It's certainly, um, that's not whatever happens in socialism. And what you're talking about is, then it, would it, be it, communism. That, 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 no. Yes. Okay. So communism is uh, an authoritarian socialism, where the, uh, where the government owns the means of production, and then the people vote for people, or ideally speaking, they vote for them, but obviously there are authoritarian governments where that gets circumvented. But socialism doesn't just require that... Um, governments aren't. There's multiple different types of socialism. There's also what the socialism. are they? So, um, typically, the, there's uh, like three different types of major socialism that are... Oh my gosh, I thought there were only two. Now we're going on to three. Okay, so uh, there's socialism. Well, I heard there's democratic socialism and there's socialism and there's a difference, but now there's a third one. So, democratic socialism is independent from the other stuff. Democratic just means leaders are elected democratically or people do democratic stuff. That's independent from anything else. I'm talking about the economic or the amount of control 
implied here. So there's um, like authoritarian socialism, which is communism, and then there's like uh, Trotskyism, which is uh, well, less authoritarian, um, more controlled by the people itself, and then there's anarcho social uh, anarcho socialism, which is uh, uh, sort of like you you keep to, um, have been prodding up this whole time about how people. Um, should be, there should be less government regulation and everything. There should be no government regulation. And that's, that's anarchism. I anarchism understand that. There. How do you have anarchism with socialism? So, um, one of the one of the types of uh, anarcho-socialism is... Uh, we have that? an ANCAP right here, an anarcho-capitalist here. I had a here. feeling you guys ran, uh, or at least one, some of you were... Well, um, I gave it away. For huh? lack of regulation. I didn't read your thing. Um, oh. So you don't know the ANCAP callers? No, I don't. Oh. Actually, yes, I do. I w just w didn't recognize it. Okay. Um, what was your question? You're going on about anarcho-socialism, which I've never heard. Oh, um, I, I'm not much for it, but basically, instead of uh, it, it's a it's a flattened social structure where instead of um, someone in, up, up above being in charge and telling you what to do. It's like a, a group of people. Like, if, imagine if in um, in uh, kind of sounds like unions. Yeah, like it's it's like a union, but instead of be, instead of like layers and layers and layers and layers of people above you who you report to, it's less um, structured. I, I'm personally not uh, anarchist, but um, that's I, I don't think I've explained that very well. But yeah. No, you're good. Well. I'll let you go because it's pretty hot out here. Enjoy your capitalism today, your shirt, your pants, your shoes, very cool backpack, your glasses, all brought to you by capitalism. Maybe you'll change your mind one day. Doubt it. Have a good day. Yeah, I doubt it too. So another thing capitalism <laughs> brings us are the wonderful supplements, shirt, apparel, safety gear at InfoWarsStore.com. What he doesn't get is that because of that, there is not just one place you can get some type of B12 or some type of iodine or some type of caffeine supplement that would give you all the power through the day. You can get those at InfoWarsStore.com and when you do, because of capitalism, you support me. You support InfoWars, you support Alex, you support Millie, you support all of us to continue to coming out here bringing you real news, exposing what crazy things people are thinking out <laughs> on the street every day, and you're going to fund this operation to defeat the globalists, which is the most important thing. So I know you guys already get these supplements. I know you already buy shirts. So go to InfoWarsStore.com and get them from there because it actually means something when you do that. Well, that is the lovely, um, that's the lovely uh, Caitlin Bennett. I've, I've been watching this girl ever since she wore that AR. Uh, beautiful picture. Uh, thank you, Katie, for being that strong girl. Um, a strong woman. Um, uh, well, anyways, like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you all have a great day.